hello guys um welcome back to my channel i am filming with my actual camera today and i am in my kitchen i am going to be coloring my mannequin's hair and i'm going to be showing you how i'm doing that and the other video i showed you guys like how to cut like emo scene hair and then that's what i did on my mannequin which i called her diva just so she would have a name and um i have a few colors here that i'm not going to be putting in my hair that I didn't really like the brand so I got this twisted teal that we're gonna use and then I have this peacock blue by raw those two are by raw and this one's by um color brilliance neon braids I really like this one but this is like more of like um like a yellowish green color and I didn't like use this on my hair I used it on my mom's friend's hair and um I'm not gonna really use it so why not like use it on my mannequin now, I got this mannequin off Wish.com, because I'm cheap like that, and um, I don't know how well the color's going to take. I should have did like a strand test on her hair beforehand, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to do this little experiment to see how this is going to work on her hair. Her hair is very light. It's like very bleach blonde like my hair in the back, so um, I'm pretty sure this will take well, but usually if the hair is fake... Um, it doesn't usually take too, too well, but if it's real hair, it will take pretty good. This one said it's real mannequin hair, so I don't know about that, but we're going to try it anyways, and you guys are here to see this, and yeah. <laughs> okay, guys, um, I have the camera view, like, flipped in the back, so I cannot, like, see myself right now, besides, like, through the mirror, and I don't have my glasses on right now, and I'm really blind, but, um... Since these colors right here are like really dark, I want to like mix it with some conditioner to like lighten it up. And that's what you can do with a lot of like hair colors. You can like dilute it with some conditioner if you want like a pastel color or you just want to lighten up the color. And for her hair, I just kind of want to lighten it up a bit. So I got my coloring bowls and my coloring br brushes over here. And I'm going to dilute the blue colors just so... um kind of going to be like a lighter color in her hair and it's not going to be so dark. I think I could just open up this lid. I need my gloves on guys so I don't get color all over me even though it's going to probably end up happening. Color always ends up traveling somehow. So I'm just going to fill these bowls up with color and then I'm going to just put conditioner in them. So. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Okay guys, I just got done mixing up the colors. Hopefully you guys can see this. Um, this one was, hold on, the peacock blue. So that's what that looks like. I put some conditioner in it and then this one over here, I mixed the, it was like a very light, like, green color. And then I put a little bit of the peacock blue in it just to, like, give it a different color and, like, to make up my own little color here. Just so it wasn't so light and just so I could see how it looks. And all these colors, guys, smell really good, by the way. And especially if you add conditioner. So, like, if you get these brands of colors, they're not, like, the best. They're not going to be, like, manic panic, but... They last a decent amount of time, and they do smell really good. So if you do really want to get these brands of colors, you can. So anyway, I'm going to take this bow out of her hair, and I'm going to start with the lightest color up on this top section here. And hopefully you guys can see this good. Yeah, you can. And hopefully I don't block the way, but um, I'm going to use this back of the brush or you could use a rat tailed comb and since I like kind of tease her hair her hair is probably gonna be like all snarly and stuff but I'm gonna like try to section her hair where I want the color just like I do with my own hair and then I'm gonna put the rest of her hair like back or maybe I could just put it in a ponytail or something and I'm gonna just section off this side And the rest of her 
rest of her hair. Jeez, she has thick hair. Alright, I'm just gonna do that. Just because all of her hair is really thick. But this is her fringe area, this is her bangs. And I'm just gonna do this part right here, like light, and then it's gonna go into a darker color up in the front. So it's gonna look really nice on her probably. And yeah, I'm gonna begin. I'm gonna like, it kinda looks like a lizard green. Like it's just kind of unique. I just kind of like made up my own little color. And sometimes like if you see a lot of these like YouTube videos, like on like hair coloring, sometimes people do like, they'll make up their own color and then just see how it comes out. But I think her hair, it might come out like good. I don't know yet, but I'm guessing it will come out good because her hair is so light. But the thing is, her hair feels like they like stripped it. And I've tried to do like a conditioner treatment on her hair, but I don't know if it like took. It really didn't at all. Like it stayed for a while. Like her hair seems so soft, but now it's like so like coarse and rough. It's just like I don't know. There's like nothing I can really do about it. So we're gonna just work with her hair as is. This color almost looks like it can like go in the dark. It's really cool. And the cool thing about mannequins too, like if you want to do your hair a certain color, you can like test it out on a mannequin and see how it looks, which is also a cool thing. I was going to do that with this mannequin, but I don't know. Usually if I want to do a color, I just do it on myself, and if I like it, I like it, and if I don't, I just kind of keep it, you know? Or I'll, like, get rid of it quicker, but I don't know. There hasn't been really a color I really didn't like in my hair at all. I mean, I accidentally did my hair orange, and I still kind of liked it, and it was a really pretty color. I actually have that video on this channel called, um, I forgot what it was called, <laughs> um, but it was with my orange Manic Panic, oh, Wildfire, Manic Panic, and I thought it was going to come out red, and it didn't come out red, it came out orange, but the color was still really pretty with my, like, bleach blonde hair, so if you want, like, a nice orange color in your hair, try out Wildfire by Manic Panic and I'm not like paying me or anything to say this. It's just, I'm giving you guys ideas. So yeah, I mixed up a little bit of blue in this color. So she might have like tints of blue in her green, which will like kind of like give it a different uniqueness. I wonder if they like have sparkly hair dye. They should like, if they don't have sparkly hair dye, they should definitely invent sparkly hair dye. I hope you guys can see this too. Sorry if I'm rambling on. I don't know if I'll be adding music in this video or not. Probably not, but I don't know. So I'm just gonna talk your guys' ear off while I color. But yeah, that would be really cool if they had sparkly hair color. Because I would definitely use it. Like if there was sparkles. You know how cool that would be? I think it would be cool. I don't know. And guys, if um you want to add me on Instagram or anything, um, my Instagram and all my social medias are down below in the link description. I always keep it down below. So if you guys want to add me on any of those, you feel free to go ahead. Her hair looks really pretty. It's sometimes it's really cool to color bleach blonde hair, and then after a while you just get sad because then it's like not bleach blonde anymore. And that's why I only color my bangs because I like black hair. I like my bleach blonde hair. I like having colored hair, which is why I have like all three of my hair right now because like I don't know. It's just sometimes it's so hard for me to decide like what color I want in my hair, and there'll be like days where I want my hair all black or just keep it bleach blonde. 
And the thing is, when you have your hair all black, then you can't color it like crazy colors and make it look all pretty. I'm just going to work this through now since most of the dye is in there. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side of her hair. Okay guys, so um, I'm going to show you guys up close what it looks like. I don't know how good of a view you got, but I just got done coloring my mannequin's hair with this color. And um, I put a little bit of that dark peacock blue by Raw in there. So I'm doing the top part right here, like this lime green color. And then I'm going to come in with the light blue down here and then um at the ends right here are gonna be dark blue so I can't wait um since this isn't a real person and they can't get heat by their hair <laughs> or their head I meant um what you can also do to speed up the time is put this in like foil and then blow dry it but um I don't think a mannequin would really have to wait a full hour you could probably just keep it on for like 20 30 minutes or so and then blow dry the hair. But that's what she looks like so far. And the next section I will be using the teal blue. And then I'll kind of like blend it into like a little bit of an ombre. Just to like give it like a fading effect through them all. Just so it's not like sh colors going like straight through like you know like a wall. How it's just color and color and color. It's going to like all look nice and blended, blended in. Hopefully I can do that, but um, yeah, we're going to wait a few minutes and then I'm going to be doing the next section. Guys, look at my fish. I finally found a name for him. I don't know if I told you guys not yet, but um, the orange fish right there, he's so cute. Um, I named him Sherbert and then uh, my brown fish right there. He has brown, orange, white, and like black in him. And he's so cute, and I named him Hershey. So I have Sherbert and Hershey, and they're really good friends. And they're so cute. So I decided to show you guys my fish since I haven't showed you guys my fish in a while. But um, now I'm going to go back and rinse the hair color out, and then I'm not going to show you guys the rinsing part, but I'm going to rinse it and see how it turned out. Hopefully it came out good. And we're going to do the next colors. Okay guys, so now I just washed out her hair. I'll show you up close. Um, I washed her hair out and it's a pretty looking green color. So now I am going to go in with the teal and kind of like ombre in there and just blend it nice and smooth so the color is smooth flowy and it looks nice. Instead of having the colors not smooth flowy. So right here is the teal. It kind of looks darker, but it's not. On the camera, it makes it look darker. But kind of in person, it kind of looks darker too. But we're going to try it out and see how it goes. I'm going to use my little brush just because um, I'm coloring a smaller section of hair. And then I'm just going to move some of these hair strands out of the way. Actually, I should clip this up on the side so that doesn't get in the way. And then I'm going to section her hair like where I want the color.
is really pretty too. Plus I'm blending it a little bit over here on the side. Just so that's not like all in one color. Just so it has like a uniqueness to it. And I'm going to be doing the same thing on the other side. Alright, so this little section right here is all colored, and I'm probably going to be letting this sit for a bit too. And that, I just blend it all in, and then I'm going to be doing the same thing on the other side of her head. This color is really pretty. Okay, so um I've been having Okay, um I've been having to charge my camera a lot. But hopefully the camera can like actually pick up how nice this hair looks. Like right now. I just got done coloring the blue. I didn't wait that long for it to dry, but then I put some blue in the green right here. And it looks really nice. It's like ombreing down. I really wish my camera could pick up like how nice this looks. And so I threw some blue into the green at the roots of the hair. And then I just let the blue, like, be its blue. And then I'm going to be putting this darker blue right here in these little parts of her bangs. So I'm going to wash these colors out. And then I'm going to be doing that blue. Okay, I just got done washing my mannequin out. Hopefully you can see her good. Um, she does have, like, a little bit of blue going down here. But, um, I'm gonna be covering up with dark blue anyways, so it's not gonna matter. And then I pinned up the rest of her hair. So this is what I'm gonna be claying. And, um, as you can see, she still has some white spots in her bangs. And honestly, if you really liked your hair like this, if you're doing this on your hair, you can keep it the way it is. Or you can just keep on going with the color. So I'm just going to keep on going with the color. And see how this looks on my mannequin. So this is a darker blue. And then I might like blend it in a little bit with the lighter blue. Just so again like I said it all blends in nicely. And it's not just one all straight color. It's all like. Okay guys, I'm filming again, and it's pretty bright outside, so hopefully like the brightness doesn't get in the way of this, but um, I had to leave my camera on the charger for a bit, and I don't know where my gloves went, so I'm probably going to have to get new gloves. Oh, they're right here. Okay. Um, anyway, yeah, so I had to leave my charger, I mean my camera on the charger for a bit. But now I'm back to coloring my mannequin's hair. Hopefully you guys can see at this angle. Alright, yeah, you guys can. And, um, so now we're working on the dark blue. I already started a little bit of it off camera. And it looks really cool. I really like how the two colors are blended together. This almost looks like her bangs look like a waterfall. It's so pretty. I 
and whatever dye like I get on her face or anything, I can it's easily washable. The only thing is I put makeup on her. Like I um do some eyeliner wings on her and that would probably wash off so I'd have to redo them, but that's all fine by me. This color is so pretty in her hair. It's so cool though, like looking at how light her hair was and like getting like a fresh palette to color on. And sometimes if you get like a lot in our hair or in your own hair, if you're doing this, you can always like work it down and strip it down like this. Just to like make the color spread. So I'm going to finish the rest off camera for you guys. And then I'm going to wait a while again. And then I will show you the final results. Okay guys, um, I just got done washing her hair out. And her hair looks really nice. The only thing is, I got a little bit of blue dye on her face, which is all good. But, um, the sun's really, like, it's kind of out, but not as bright as it was before. But I really love this blue in her hair. It looks so pretty. It reminds me of my birthstone color. And, um, yeah, I really think that color is, like, really nice. So I'm just going to remove these clips right here and just see how her hair looks. With all of her hair, like, down. Wow, her hair is so pretty. The other part of her hair is like up in um, a little ponytail. But look at you can see the two different colors like the teal and then like I put a little bit of teal in her hair and then like it's going down to this green color which is so pretty. Wow, she has pretty hair. She has better hair than me now because I need to recolor mine. But, um, and she could always, like, put her hair to the side like that. And it can look pretty. Okay, so I just put her, the clips in her hair over here. And I just, I don't know, I really like her hair. I think it looks really pretty. I put her the rest of her hair down. And this is what her hair looks like. Her face is kind of, like, ugly looking right now with all the dye. But with her nice bleach blonde hair and, like, the color in her bangs it just looks really pretty so guys if you um liked this video or like her hair then give this video a like please subscribe to this channel and my main my main channel my my smith and comment down below if you want you don't have to and again i have like all my social medias and everything down below um guys if you want to add me on friend life i mean not friend life you now hold on I'll flip the camera around and talk to you guys. If you guys want to add me on um, you now, then you could go ahead. It's my my Smith. You can fan me on there, and if you fan me, and I'll fan you back on there, which is cool. And you guys can like watch me like talk to you guys live and everything, and I could do some guesting. So that would also be cool because I want to try to do some friendly. Uh, I keep thinking of fun life. You now streams. So yeah, guys. I really hope you liked this hair coloring. I really like it. I'd probably put this. These colors, like, not the same brand, but maybe, like, with Manic Panic, I think it would look really pretty in my hair. Because she, she, she really rocks that color, I think, so. And my black's, like, already fading out. It's, like, turning into, like, the purple that used to be there. So, I don't know. I need to do something new with my hair already, but. Yeah, thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next video. So, see you guys later. This is bigger than...